Hi, in this video, you will learn how to create an e-invoice using My Invoice Portal. Without any further ado, let's start. The first step, log in and access the platform. Visit preprod-mytax.hasil.gov.ny Select your identification type, enter the required details and password, click log in. Hover over My Invoice in the upper left corner and click report. Step 2. Create a new invoice. On the left side of the page, click New Document. Make sure the document type is Invoice and the version is 1.1. Click Start. Step 3. Basic Information. Review the preset date and time. Click Continue. Step 4. Fill in the supplier and buyer details. On the left side of the page, fill in the details of the supplier. On the right side of the page, fill in the details of the buyer. Enter the ID type. ID number and the tax identification number or known as TIN of the buyer and validate. Enter the buyer's name. Enter the buyer's SSD registration number. Enter the buyer's email address. This is optional. Enter the buyer's phone number, address, city, country and state. These are the mandatory fields. After that, a green tick will appear beside the supplier and buyer tab once all required information has been filled in. Click Continue. Step 5. Add line items. Select the currency for the invoice. In our case, we will select Malaysian Ringgit. Click Add Line at the top right corner. Now, we will fill in the line details. In our case, we will choose Others for the classification code. For product or service, we will enter tax port. For quantity, I will put 1 and the unit of measurement will be service unit. So, a total of 1 service unit. For unit price here, we will put 2,888 ringgit. For total sales amount, that will be calculated automatically. For the discount column, that is optional. In our case, we will leave it blank. Step 6, add taxes. Click add tax. In our case, select service tax as the tax type. Enter 8% as the tax rate. Then, the total tax amount will be calculated automatically. Click Add at the bottom right of the page. Step 7. Review and finalize. If you have more line items, click Add Line. Otherwise, click Continue. Review the optional fields such as frequent billing information, payment and prepayment information, and shipping information. Then, click Continue. Check the invoice summary for accuracy. Click Sign and Submit Document to finalize the e-invoice. Then, enter the required details and click Submit. A pop-up will appear and there will be a link. Click on the link and you will be directed to a page where you will see the submission details. Click on the internal ID and you will see the e-invoice. You can print or download your e-invoice here. Click on Print and you will see your e-invoice like this.